Hi, betting experts. On Saturday, the 25th of September, we've got six cracking races on ITV on Saturday. Haydock and Newmarket, the ground drying out all the time after a bright, sunny week across the country. I'm expecting it to be on the faster side of good. The main meeting comes at Newmarket, where the Cambridgeshire handicap is the highlight, a race with a rich history. And that's where we're going to go for our value angle selection to start things off. Now, this Heritage Handicap for three-year-olds and upwards looks a really good opportunity for Fantastic Fox. Now, this one is a free-going sort. He's been ridden by Sylvester D'Souza all summer, uh, and Sylvester's really struggled to get him settled. He bolted one day with him at Ascot, you know, where he carted him about five lengths clear and stopped. He's been ridden with more patience lately. He's been running really well, but he still hasn't really dropped the bit, and I'm hoping the booking of Andrea Atsaini will bring about a much more measured performance this huge field will really suit him on drying ground i think he'll get a really patient ride and hopefully come through late he's 16 to 1 find a bookmaker offering five or six places back him each way i think he's sure to give you a really good run for your money he's rated around 100 and i think he's several pounds above that if things fall right for him for our nap of the day, we go to the 225 at Newmarket. This is the Judd Monty Cheveley Park Stakes, a Group 1 for Phillies. Over six furlongs. I'm going with Desert Dreamer here, a sporting nap at around 12 to 1. He's been... Um, she's been on the go all summer, basically. She took a lot of settling in her early races, looking really useful when winning here. Despite pulling very hard for the whole of the race, she's been running with credit in defeat since in much better races. I think she's got optimum conditions here, drying top of the ground, a strong pace assured. If she sees any daylight later on, I think she'll go really close. She's certainly overpriced at around 12 to 1. Four more races on ITV to get through. We start with the 150 at Newmarket, the Royal Lodge, a Group 2, the Colts and Geldings over a mile. And this looks a really good opportunity for Massacala, Andrew Balding to win again. Now this one showed a terrific attitude when denying Bayside Boy on the nod last time out at Newbury. That form has been really well advertised subsequently by the runner-up winning in strong con company at Doncaster next time out. And I'm going to stick with Masakala, who I think has got the potential to do a lot better as his stamina is drawn out. Over to Haydock for the 205. This is the Betway handicap over a mile. Well, Nugget really bumped into one when failing to land a hefty gamble in the first Hunt Cup last time out. He has been edged up a few pounds for that, but I don't think that's going to matter. As he becomes more settled, he's going to develop into a listed or group three type performer for me. Fast ground suits, ideally. They should go a strong gallop, and I think he'll go really close. But staying at Haydock for the 240, this is the Heed Your Hunch at Betway Handicap, a five furlong sprint. I'm going to take a flyer here with Royal Crusade, who's been a bitter disappointment all summer. But last time out over six, I thought he showed plenty of pace and perhaps they've just been running him over the wrong track. Uh, trip. He's back to five furlongs on fast ground here and at a double figure price. I'm going to take a chance on him with confidence, not particularly high, I must admit. And finally, the three o'clock at Newmarket, the Judd Monty Middle Park Group 1 six furlong for Colts uh, a really good race this I like Armour I think he's a real tough battler he was just tapped at five furlongs when hammered in the market for the flying Childers at Doncaster last time out just pegged right on the line I think this six furlongs will really suit him I loved his run at Goodwood he was really impressive there beating Fearby and again he's around eight to one I think that's a point or two over the odds best of luck with all six ITV races on Saturday betting experts